Hi. Welcome to the Hobbit Hut here at the Solar Living Center in Hopland. This is a structure I've been working on for the last couple months. Um, it's made out of wooden shipping pallets, insulated with straw and covered in an earthen adobe cob mixture. I'm pretty certain that this model here is about the best example design that I've come across for super low cost, very quick to build, very durable and well insulated structure. So I'm hoping that this will kind of set a model precedence for other structures like this to be built. Let me show you the inside. So if you come in here, so you can see we had some fun creating these trees, uh, putting bark in there, and, and all the wood for the door and the roof was all using recycled wood, actually from the Valley Fire in Middletown. It was all milled by a local fella here. So we didn't actually have to spend any money on any wood. No plywood, no 4x4s, no construction materials really for the most part. Everything was all recycled. So, let me check it out. So it's nice and cool on here in, in a hot day such as this. Very well insulation. So we, we have a bed in here now. Uh, so you can see we have these bottles in here. There's actually um, LED lights inside the bottles and inside the stained glass. So at night, at night, this all lights up. It looks really beautiful. We we joke and call it Bottle Star Galacticom. <laughs> and uh, so we have yeah, so nice little cabinets in here and bookshelves and everything. We have these windows with these rolls like this, so we can. Uh, these are energy efficient, so it stays uh, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. And so if you come out here, you can see here, too, that we have this uh, little seating area out here, a little bench. So it's a little love bench, so you can sit here and enjoy the view of this beautiful property. And so we'll be putting a little patio right in here, too. And then there's a, a nice shower set up back there. And, uh, with, it's an actually a straw bale dome shower. It's beautiful. And oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you here in two side. So there's this fun little trick if you wanted to have a, a little hammock experience. You can connect this here to there, and you can get in a hammock. Ah, oh. haven't you always wanted to have a hammock in your room? <laughs> yeah. So it's a nice skylight. And it's actually uh, a living roof, so it, the, with, we have about six inches of earth on the, the roof. So actually if you see here, we have a bunch of plants growing on the roof, which also helps with the insulation to keep it cooler on a hot day, warmer in the winter. So we have uh, various succulents up there and, and grasses, and we have strawberries and other drought-tolerant plants. And... Uh, so, and it's really nice having it right here in the middle of this beautiful pollinator garden, right? So this has been about, about two months of work, working on this. The, the total cost of the structure was less than $2,000 in, in materials to build. And, um, and yeah, and this will be, this will last forever. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and just take a look at this small structure here. So this is like a little children's play structure, it could be a dog house. This is also built out of pallets, wooden pallets filled with straw covered in earth. And we have a little green roof with strawberries and basil and flowers growing on the top. This is a bench we built last week during the permaculture convergence. We're letting it dry and then we'll be sealing it with uh, linseed oil and beeswax. And uh, so the walls are all made with adobe bricks that we had uh, interns here at the Solar Living Center make the adobe bricks and then during the festival we, um, we did all the, put the mosaic in and sculpted these two uh, lizards and put the tiles in. And then at the Permaculture Convergence last year, we built this oven here. All right, so this is a, uh, a cob oven, uh, just using earth right from the ground uh, that we sculpted into a beehive. And so we use this for cooking pizzas and breads and squash and everything. And uh, so that's a nice addition. And, uh, and then this here is a little tiny house, so a little tiny house on wheels. So these are, you know, perfectly legal structures people can live in. And, uh, and so, yeah, and then we're back 
here at the Hobbit Hut. We also call it a, a palatable cobbin, right? Because it's made out of pallets and cobs. I think the best example model for super low cost housing. So hopefully this will inspire many more structures like this to be built. And with the fires that just happened down in Santa Rosa and Mendocino and all over, this is probably about the best thing that we can do right now is build fire resilient structures, very quick, very affordable, and have community come together and build it and have a lot of fun in the process. So, thanks for watching.